happened to be at a volunteer forum meeting and there was at least three or four people that said, I think we should nominate Mabel for an award. There's no stone unturned. She's willing to pitch in and help and support in any way that she can. Mabel really leads by example. She's an inspiration to everyone. She flies the banner for Macmillan. In 2011, I had a cancer diagnosis. Once I became fit and well, I thought, what am I going to do? So I linked up with the local cancer support unit in Warrington and it just turned out that they were looking for a lead volunteer from Macmillan to start up a buddy system. And I come from a health and social care background, so I could bring those skills to the scheme. Volunteering with Macmillan has definitely given me a purpose. I aim to improve people's awareness. They're not alone, that there are people there within the community that can help and support them. Mabel, as a volunteer, is extraordinarily dedicated. She's tremendously compassionate when it comes to dealing with our service users and she's incredibly driven by a desire to help and support people. It's good being a Macmillan volunteer. People really come along and, and they'll tell you their experience of how Macmillan helped them. So it really makes me proud to be a volunteer. My biggest volunteer achievement is to see people move on and get well. If you only have one person that you help, to me that's the reason for being a volunteer. I've known Mabel now six and a half years. I wouldn't have been here now only for the help of Mabel. I know I wouldn't because I didn't have the confidence to carry on. Winning this award was a standout moment. Well, I'm just so grateful that my peers felt that I deserved this award and I'm so happy that they saw something in me that I didn't see. Definitely, dear Mabel. She just knows what to say and she's always there for me. She's a star. We're extraordinarily lucky to have her serving the people of Warrington in the way that she does.